boys and girls, here it is. <sighs> Next review, AMC's Walking Dead. Season 6, episode 10. The Next World. The Next World. I don't know if they can hear me. The name of the episode is The Next World. Yeah, they, they, they heard you on the last review. Oh. Um, all right, couple points. Now, we're going to talk about the jungle fever at the last bit of the review because you know that's like the best part. Some people don't know what jungle fever is. For those who don't know what jungle fever is, you'll know if you watch to the last, the end of this review, so you'll know what that is. Uh, all right, first things first. I find it a little weird that Edith, 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 Enid, Enid. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I don't get her point of the show. I don't get why she's here. My theory: she's here to make Carl feel some type of way when she dies, which hopefully is. I mean, I just don't get her. Nonetheless, apparently Maggie is like. Yo, what's up, Edith? You've been gone for a couple weeks, which I'm going to say since the first episode, from the first episode of this episode, I'm going to say three weeks to a month. Mm, yeah. I mean, because, I mean, Carl's okay. I figured the surgery would have taken, like, he seems to be fine. It seems like he would have taken, like, a week or two to recover from that. Judith has oh, gotten, longer. Longer. I would, yeah, I would think, like, a month. I'm going to say month, but I know you're going to have those people. It's probably about three weeks, yeah. It's probably about three hours. Yeah, so this is the same month. Yeah, so Carl is out of surgery, looking good, winking at everybody now. Oh. Judith is looking substantially bigger, which I guess we're just gonna keep changing her. She, you gotta see the first. Oh, they well, use the, the first five minutes of the episode, she's actually huge. Now. She looks like she can walk. Oh, yeah, you'll see on the encore. But Edith, apparently, Maggie is questioning Enid. her at Enith. That's Enid. Enid. Yes. So, Enid is currently Maggie is questioning where she's been, what she's been doing. Apparently, she became useless again. Now, no, she saved Glenn and helped my boy out, and then helped Maggie out. Although she could have helped herself out. Well, you know, yeah, true. So she's useless again. I guess I don't know. I really, she's not my favorite character. But uh, regardless, Daryl and Rick go on this run. And from request of Denise, which I don't know if y'all like was scoping that, but Denise makes a comment that says Tara talks in her sleep. So they're sleeping in a proximity of which they can hear each other. So for the Yuri is happening there. I don't know if y'all caught that. But uh, I mean, my opinion, that relationship was a bit brash, a little rushed. I I mean, you know, I liked well, I guess it's a it's a zombie apocalypse, so you can't just be like, you know, making romantic stories all over the place. I mean shit. Look at Andre on Shane. She grabbed his dick and raped him. That was a thing. I guess I don't know. So they're together now. They're a thing. They're a couple. They're a, they're a jutsu. So, you know, Daryl and Rick go out, scavenge, find this truck full of I saw some canned foods in there. I'm not really too sure what was in there. I saw some cans. Definitely some cans. Huge ass truck. <laughs> Convenient. Uh, they go. They try, chain it up. They find the truck. Go somewhere else. Chain up a snack machine to the truck. Because Daryl is feeding for some Cheetos. And some orange crushed soda. I feel like Kel should be here somewhere. And this guy. I'm going to call him Paul. Because I'm not going to. His friends call him Jesus. I'm not doing that. He, you know, gives him a little run for the money, makes some little indirect threats, proves to be a challenge, swipes the keys off of Rick. I'm going to watch the episode again, because my process is I usually record it. I watch it, record it, watch it again, then do these reviews for you people. But at this time, I just, I was just like, after the what happened, I was like, I gotta just, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta. Nonetheless, swipes the keys off, steals the truck, breaks down. Actually, you know, it's funny, he broke down, right? They, they catch up to him, Rick and um, Daryl, they catch up to him, they steal the keys back, tie him up, like, pretty well. He somehow gets untied, Houdini's his ass, Houdini's his ass out the rubs, yeah, he's very on, yes, onto the roof of the truck. I don't know how the fuck he did that, but he did that, that, that was done, he, he, that was done, he did it. Daryl hears him, how did he get from the... 
And you know, see, it's funny because if he was broken down, how come they were able to start the car immediately, the truck immediately? What's that about that? He wasn't broken down. Um, I think he blew out a tire. That's what those tracks. That's what those um. Tracks were. Yeah, but the the, the they. And by the time they got to him, he had already changed the tire. Uh huh. About to get back in. At least that's. Could be, thing. could be. But yeah, they rest of the keys back from him. They're going to this farm for some apparent reason. Daryl hears them on the roof. Makes uh, tells you know Rick to stop. Rick stops. He flies off. They have a little rough tussle. And apparently some random ass walkers are there, and they're like, you know, oh shit. The dude saves Daryl, so obviously he has some humanity in him yet. He's not a bad guy, so we know. I don't know. He could be. What do you think, America? So he saves him. It's pretty, I mean, you know, it happens. Uh, they agreed to bring him back. He gets knocked unconscious. The truck gets thrown into the lake. All that shit's gone. Whatever, fuck it, right? He gets knocked unconscious. They take him back to Alexandria. Where, you know, he's awaiting his, you know, to be woken up. Carl and Edith go out again to, you know, they're still doing this whole thing where they're walking and around and shit and all that, you know, random kitty shit. Just so, I guess, to add drama to the show, I don't know, to find themselves, I don't fucking know. And then Edith's like, I don't want to do this anymore. I don't know what I want with my life. <laughs> So Carl's like, alright, fine, fuck it. We're going back. And then they see Zombie Diana. I don't know how she got out that room. Put in the comment section below if you do. I don't know how she could have got out of the room. Nonetheless, Alexandria, I guess I knocked the fence down. I think when she died, she died by the hand of um, them busting into the room or her opening the room the way. I don't think she was walking that room. She might have been locked in the house, but not that room. Yeah, so she somehow got out. Her son apparently goes on these little runs to find her after he had allegedly spotted her. He, he, um, Carl spots her first, leads her away. Michonne and her son, I forget his name, Five O'Clock Shadow, you know. If they find her, he puts her down. That happens. Uh, you know, touching moment, I guess. Somehow this lets Michonne find herself. She gets back. This Lordy. <clears throat> she gets back to the house with Rick. Rick, of course, couldn't find the tooth. Well, he found maybe he found the toothpaste, but it was in the truck which got dumped in the lake. That Michonne had requested for at the beginning of the episode. They're sitting on the couch, and I know this is like a candlelight on the couch. I'm like, oh shit, I know we're not about to do what I think we're about to do. But they do. Uh, Rick hands her like a thing of Tic Tacs or some breath mints or something. And he has them in his hand, and the Michonne does like this to grab them, and they interlock in the fingers, and they stare at each other, all up in them eye sockets, like this and they start kissing the house is like and let's see I knew it was gonna happen I was saying chipping Rick and Michonne for like fucking since the prison but then Jesse got in the way I didn't think I thought it was gonna be like way later in the show yeah, because if you haven't noticed, Rick has had the worst of luck with females. So, I don't know. No one, I mean, you know. That's how the episode ended, by the way. Rick and, no, 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 no. It ends with them kissing, and then, like, there's, like, a little cut to black, and then it, they are on a bed, butt-ass, naked. I'm talking, like, swirling ice cream style. We talk chocolate and vanilla. Oreos, people. But, like, with only one... One cookie part, because there's not two black dudes. Rick's so up. But, um, yeah. I, hey, good episode, though. I like the die down from last, you know, the season finale, because the season premiere was ridiculous. I couldn't handle it anymore, so I'm glad we were able to, you know, shut that down. I mean, I shut down, you know, it died down. The excitement, I couldn't handle it. Oh, God, Jesus. Have me here, y'all. Have me here. Have me here. Have me there. So, yeah, I'm going to watch it again. Anyway, because it's a good ass show, the greatest show on cable, I think. But yeah. What you doing? Know, 
like this video, subscribe to this channel if you enjoyed this review. AMC's The Walking Dead.